Dougie! What are you doing? Oh, woof woof. Dougie is looking through a telescope. <gasps> Can I look through it, Dougie? Oh, woof. What does it do? It's for looking at things far, far away, like stars and comets, the whole solar system. Huh? What's the solar system? Dougie can explain, because he has his oh, woof, space badge. So, you will be the planets, oh, off, and Dougie will be the sun, oh, off. The sun? Yes, Tag. The sun is a star, burning brightly at the center of our solar system. Wow! What am I? You're Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. Yes! <laughs> Happy is Venus, the hottest planet of all. Noddy is Earth. Tag is Mars. What about me? You're Jupiter, Betty. Wow, I'm huge. Because Jupiter is huge. Then there's Saturn, ah. Uranus, Neptune, and there's even a dwarf planet called Pluto. And they all spin around the sun. The whole thing is called the solar system. Amazing! I wish I could go into space. Splashy splash! Oh, woof woof! <gasps> Sorry, Happy. Dougie's rock pool isn't for splashing. Uh oh? It's for all the animals. It's a place of calm, away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. A veritable oasis of tranquility and... Ah! What are those? Your pond is full of wriggly raisins, Dougie. They're not wriggly raisins, Dory. <laughs> oh, woof, woof, woof. They're babies? That's right. They're called tadpoles. Are tadpoles baby worms? No. Baby fish? <coughs> baby snails? No. Not quite squirrels. Tadpoles are, in fact, baby... <coughs> Frogs? They don't look like frog. <coughs> or sound like frog. Are you sure, Dougie? Oh, woof! Oh, yes. Dougie is quite sure, Squiddles. He's got his tadpole badge. Ooh! Oh, woof! It says here that tadpoles don't look like frogs at first, but then they grow arms and legs, turn green, and finally they hop out of the water. A fully grown frog. That's amazing! Do you think they know? Let's tell them! Yeah! Ooh, you're planting corn. Why? Well, if you plant corn into the earth, over time... ...it grows into food. Wow! The sea! It's so big! And blue! And wavy! And wet! <laughs> so is this the water we drink, Dougie? No, Tag. It's not ready to drink yet. When is it ready, Dougie? Well, first the sun has to do its job. The sun? Oh, wolf! When the sun heats the sea, little drops of it go up and up into the sky. And can you guess what they turn into? Birds! <clears throat> no, really. No, no. They, they turn into a... Cloud! Woof! Wow! Look 
at us. We're clouds too. <laughs> We're so fluffy and light. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving. We're moving. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't drink at clouds, Dougie. A wolf? You're right, Tag. But after a while, the clouds can't hold the little droplets in anymore. So they have to let them go. <sighs> and the water falls back down. Yay! We're rain. I love being rain. Are we going to splash? Yes, Happy. The rain lands and forms... Ooh. ...a river. The river runs down the hill. Whee! Like this? Yeah! <laughs> splash, splash, splash! Oh! <laughs> and then the water gently flows along until it reaches... a lake. Is this where the whale is? Oh, wolf! No water bouncing. Oh, wolf! On jellyfish! Oh, wolf! Or bugs with buckets. A wolf. So how does the water get in the tap? I know. Do you, Rolly? Yes. Through a big straw. <sighs> well, in a sense, you're right, Rolly. What? He. Oh, woof, woof, woof. Oh, woof. You see, the water gets sucked up through a big pipe and goes... Up and down! And round and round... Until it comes out of... The tap! Um, excuse me, what's a fossil? That's a big question, Rolly. But Dougie can explain. A wolf! Because he has his fossil badge. A wolf, 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 wolf. Yes, fossils were made a long time ago. <laughs> when primitive creatures walked the earth. Huh? Oh, woof, woof. Oh, sorry, Dougie. You're right. We should start much further back. When the only living creatures were in the sea. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, and sometimes like incredible things happened, sea. like blizzards. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> or volcanoes. Ho-ho! Or great sandstorms. Uh oh. And then that creature would be stuck for a really, really long time. Oh boy. So this was once a little creature. Woof! And it's really old? Yes, Rolly. Really, really old. It takes millions of years to turn it into a fossil. Oh. Hey, old Daddy! We dug up a fossil. A wolf? Ooh. Are there any more fossils? Oh, yes, Snorri. Fossils can be made from any creature that lived a really long time ago. Ones that lived in the sea, or ones that crawled out of the sea. Small ones that flew, or big ones that walked. Big ones that walked? Are you talking about dinosaurs? Yes, Betty. Hey, Dougie, what are you doing? Oh, well. We're going 
to play with a ball? That's not very futury. <gasps> Future ball! <laughs> It's all very lively around the roots. Good day, Mr. Buggington. And Mrs. Grubsworth. Because this is where the roots collect all the food for the tree. Get your nutrients. And your minerals. Get them fresh. But when it rains, water soaks down into the soil. Making it so wet, the tree can drink water straight through its roots. Like a straw. Oh. Yes! We're going up again! Yes, we're following the... Water! <laughs> it gets sucked along the roots, then up into the tree trunk. But the tree isn't wet. Because the water is inside the tree, protected by the bark. What's bark? The rough wood the tree wears. Wears? Like a coat of armour? Oh, <laughs> wolf! What are those? Insects. What are they doing? Some of them have been collecting leaves from the top of the tree. And some of them live up there. They live in the tree? Yes, lots of animals do. Like this woodpecker. Do you like living in this tree? It's one of the best around. And what's that squirrel doing? He is getting dinner. Trees provide food for lots of animals. Some trees have nuts, others have berries, some trees have fruit, and some even have coconuts. Wow! So many leaves! Which is a good thing, Betty, because they're very important. Leaves catch the sunlight, which helps the tree to grow, and cleans the air to help us breathe. Did I tell you an ant is living on the seat of my tricycle? I have to walk everywhere now. Dougie's not very well, Ladybird. We don't know what to do. He can only go. <gasps> hmm. My guess is tonsillitis, although it could be strep throat or pharyngitis or laryngitis, perhaps even an issue with the epiglottis. I suggest he attempts to create a muscular spasm through the system apparatus. Huh? Tell him to... Swallow! Oh. Well? <gasps> it didn't work! Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah! It was really sunny on my holiday. The ground was all dry and cracked. 
Tucky needs to try warming up his voice. I do it myself to help me sing magnificently. As you can see. Copy me. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Na 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 na. Baru, baru. Baru, baru. Baru, baru. Oh. Tucky. Have you ever laughed so hard? Milk has come out of your nose. Doggy can't speak! That would make me really angry! Has he tried shouting? No! Why didn't I think of that? Try shouting! It's easy. Whoa! I really thought that would work. Just time for one more thing. Dougie hug! Oh. Dougie hug.